welcome to our grade 5 modules. Although the modules were designed to help the parents teach their children, we invite the kids at this level to watch along with the parents. The level of difficulty of math uh, is uh, quite high now. So if uh, the parents have not been teaching their children before, it'll be a little bit tougher to uh, follow along the modules. So maybe with the kids watching along with the parents, the kids can help parents understand so that they can teach their kids better. So let's begin our journey with module one. Module one is divided into three chapters. Uh, the assumption for these lessons is that we still remember our lessons from grade four, grade three, and grade two. So the remembering grade two is quite tough, but hopefully you still remember your grade four lessons. So our lesson will begin with chapter one, and there's only one lesson in chapter one, and it's about whole numbers. Now we will be doing numbers to 10 million. So in the past years, we've been writing these down, and these are the place values. So the first place value here will be our hundred thousands. Okay, then this will be our ten thousands. Okay, then this will be our thousands. Okay, then this will be our hundreds. And our tens and our ones. Okay, so how come there's no millions? Because after the hundred thousands will be the millions, please. But the kids are expected to know how to read numbers up to 10, 10 million. So our lessons will begin from page 9. Okay, so in page 9, I've selected a few problems. In 1B, it says write in figures. So it says 673,000. So that's 673,000. 911. So that's 911. So the book doesn't use commas in between the thousands and the hundreds. So I suggest that we also refrain from using the commas. Okay, so the next one says 200,000, 106, so 200,000. So my suggestion is as you read, when you see a comma, that means pause. So that means write down. So 200,000, 106. So the figures for these two numbers are written down. Okay, now the next problem from 1C, it says write in words. So if I read this, this is 320,176. So we write 320,000. Okay, so then we put the comma. Then this is 100, 100, and 76. Okay, so clearly the way that we write should be the same way as the words were given to us. So the other number that, that I've selected here is 906,095. So if we write in words, that's 900 and 6,000 and uh, 906,000 and 95. Okay, so in essence, if we look at here, we don't need to put the comma because there's no hundred. 
So that means the and takes the place of the comma. So it says 900 and 6,000. So again, the books have consistently from grade 2 onwards have been using the word and. So if your kids have been using the same books throughout the years, then they should know that they need to use the and. So if you want to teach your kids without the end, it's fine. But come exam time, there might be some problems. So my suggestion is just point out that the end is not necessary, but the comma is necessary and the dashes here, there's a dash, okay, and the dash are necessary. Since the lesson is counting to 10 million, we will continue on to page 12. I've selected several problems from this page to discuss. Discussing these problems, if we look at problem 1b, it says write in figures. So it reads as 3 million, comma, so that means 3, 576,000, 576,000, comma, oops, not comma, but end is the same and 45 so that means since there's no comma that means there must not be any hundreds value so that's why it's 0, 4, 5. looking at c it says six million six million three hundred and twenty one thousand three hundred and twenty one thousand comma 504. So that means 504. So again, we need to be consistent when we read these bigger numbers. It's best to stop when there's a comma. Okay, so the next exercise says write in words. So if we read this, this is 1 million. So 1 million, comma, 234,000. 234,000, comma, 567, 567. So again, the dashes are important. The comma are important as well. So another example is 2 million, comma, 653,000, comma, 800, 800, and 70. Okay, so again, if we do the problems in a consistent manner, it shouldn't be hard. Okay, and finally, this is from 1D. Sorry, this is 1D. It says, find the missing numbers. So uh, my suggestion here is wherever the missing is, you work on the other side first and read the, prob the number. So this reads as 2 million, 300,598. So we have the 2 million, we're missing the 300,000, and we have the 598. So that means what goes here in this blank must be 300,000. Okay, similarly in letter C, since what's missing is on the left, it's best to work on the right hand side, read it, and then fill in the blanks. So this reads as 5,081,946. So we have the 5 million, we have the 946, which means we're missing the 81,000. So again, as the numbers get bigger, it also means bigger stress. But the stress can be managed if we do the problems step by step, little by little. That concludes the only lesson of the chapter. See you in the next chapter.